Hey, how you doing guys? We got an exciting new version of OBS Studio version 22 for all major operating systems. Uh, now keep in mind I'm using the Mac version, so this may not apply to everything for all three versions interchangeably, but just consult your version that you're using. Um, we're going to focus on three or four different features. Um, there's a lot of smaller ones. Now this is not nearly as comprehensive as the last major update but anything that's included uh, is much appreciated. Uh, things like bug fixes, performance enhancements, and stuff like that. One uh, major thing with the update is groups. You can list all your sources under one group, and you simply go to your sources in your window, and you highlight all the ones you're going to put in the group. You right-click and select group selected items. In this case, we're gonna uh, rename it as uh, studio just like so and then now all uh, those source settings are under one label so that's great if you want to uh, keep everything organized and finding specific ones you can it's a lot easier now also new is you can apply colorized labels to each of your sources making uh, visually easier to find you can uh, assign them to different colors and you simply highlight it right click again and you can set your color and uh, you can do the pre-selected ones or the custom color as well and uh, we're just going to select um, red for this one and it's more purplish I'm not sure why let me see if we can uh, yeah there we go it is red and uh, of course you can apply it to everything different ones even within your group just to show you, um, we can do this again. Uh, set color and uh, I'm gonna set, I think it's blue and one more. Just to show you how it works. And I think that's green or far truce or whatever. Okay, I guess that was black. Oh no, it's blue. Okay, well, sort of. Just like so, color coding, very welcome uh, addition. Also, which is nice, is you can, um, as far as your mixing audio sources, you can, instead of doing horizontally, you can now do it vertically. And uh, we'll simply go here and right click your audio section of OBS Studio and simply select Vertical Layout. And uh, of course, depending on where you have it located, um, here, if you're located right there, it's probably better to go uh, horizontally, uh, just like so. Another feature, and uh, finally, the last one I'm going to show you is has to do with browser source, which meaning, of course, you can add any website to uh, a list of sources, and I'm going to show you that really quick, just for continuity. And we're just simply going to select um, a browser right here. I'm just going to click the defaults right here to make it quicker, and uh, just like so. Now what they've done is added um, a lot of, they rewritten it from scratch. Um, so now, uh, at least in the Windows version, you can do, um, I'm trying to think, uh, it does do hardware acceleration. I'm not sure, so sure in Mac or Linux, and I'll show you why if you go to the settings. Uh, and advanced you should see at least in the Windows version uh, your source section it should show you use GPU acceleration now since the Mac version doesn't have this I'm guessing the Mac version doesn't have GPU acceleration but they have rewritten the web browser plugin source from scratch so it uses less GPU less CPU and um, they removed a lot of the old code and make it compact and more efficient. Uh, like I said, anything that improves the performance uh, on your machine, I think is great. Uh, makes for a great version. Not nearly as many changes as uh, comprehensive as some of the uh, previous versions, but like I said, every version, uh, it gets better and better. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.